Well, ladies and gentlemen, these are difficult times, but nevertheless, you have to have confidence, you have to have ambition, and you still have to believe. And I think what we're celebrating today is a world-renowned, internationally acclaimed company showing precisely that. This building that we're in is Bream Excellence. It is a top quality building and it is the sort of building, it's the sort of office that actually proclaims uh, exactly where Amy's uh, expectations are. And so Mel, it really, it really is kind of you to allow me to join in this celebration and it's a great pleasure to be here to help launch this international de design hub in Birmingham. It's been alluded to that in fact we made the announcement, or at least Amy made the announcement, in, in Cannes, in Mipping. That is a powerful place to make any statement about where you're going to go. The, we all know, and I, I, I meet many of you there in Mipping, and we know that is a major, major uh, platform to make uh, brave statements. And now to be here in November, opening up this international hub, to me indicates the scale and the pace and the determination of Amy to succeed and re relocate here. I seem to remember when we made the announcement in Mipping, what a buzz it created. We had about 150 people around the stand. And if I may just digress slightly, that particular Mipping, we made so many major announcements, but Amos was probably the preeminent, that our London spies that actually had uh, that had floor space two floors above us wondered why so much activity was going on the Birmingham Mipping stand. And this year, for those of you that go to Mipping, Birmingham will be here, Paris will be the here, Leon, Curl and those uh, uh, our friends will be up there, and London has decided to come downstairs and be where everybody should be, opposite Birmingham. <laughs> now, let me tell you, Amy helped that. That's exactly what Amy's reputation is. And if London understands the power of Amy, I'm so pleased Amy understand the capacity of our city growing. The relationship is a long, rich, rewarding relationship. But let me say what it also does. The fact that Amy have chosen Birmingham for its international home. We're seen now, slowly but surely, as a truly international business location. And our brand as a city grows. And that is a mutually advantageous relationship. We can build upon each other's enhancement of our relationship. And I am going to mention, push my mic though, as a friend, my friend is here as well, but I just want to mention it again. We were named as Birmingham, as Birmingham as Europe's best performing city this year. And it wasn't just that we moved from 21 to 14. In the process of moving to that, we moved into the top 10 for availability, and this is the issue. The reason why people are moving to the city of Birmingham is not because people have speculated and developed superb office facilities like this. But we actually have a reservoir, an intellectual reservoir, that gives the capacity for any company that wants to succeed at a global level. That intellectual reservoir is there for people to gain the people that they need. So we have that. It's the availability of space, which this obviously personifies. But it's the ease of the access to the markets that we'll need to be in. And Amy are international and global. Their skills, their designs, their people will go throughout wherever the, it is business to be done. But the design and the thought and the intellectual capacity is going to be in this office here. That's a credit to Amen. It's a credit to our city. It's a credit to our accessibility. And we are developing a network of external travel links, which are second to none. We access India, we access China, we access the growth markets of tomorrow. That's the city of Birmingham. And it's this eminence, and I hope one day a preeminence, as a city that allows not only Birmingham to compete, but the people that decide to locate here, make their homes here. And I believe that's why Amy are here today, and are investing not only their time, their money, but are going to make sure that in fact the people can have a, an opportunity to learn the skills required for an international uh, uh, um, company. But what's the momentum? Only yesterday we had the Secretary of State uh, for Culture and Sport, Margaret Hodge, said 
that our library, that brutalistic central library, is not now going to have the immunity, um, uh, a certificate of uh, immunity. So we can actually demolish that. And that actually accesses us to another major development. Amy are here and we're going to celebrate, but the city needs to grow and go on. That's going to lever in a £600 million development that will generate 13,000 jobs. And the reputation of a family will grow. And as a family will share the rewards of being part of a city that has a global reputation. So we have the political will to be bold about this city. And Amy have the determination and the capacity to drive that forward. And we look forward to us working together. And if I may just finally say, Mel has touched what we then need to do. Britain has gone through a crisis. We need to look at our economic profile. We need to teach people skills other than banking. <laughs> <laughs> and, Mel and Amy are going to do that. And I'm so pleased. And the fact that they're actually carrying out an apprenticeship scheme and are going to teach people skills that have a world value, not an esoteric, ephemeral value, something that is sustainable. And the City of Birmingham are going to join in with Amy, because I'm giving 1.3 acres of land not far from here, and in Birmingham Science Park, to create one of the first engineering academies in the United Kingdom that will give 700 people that I hope some of will come to Amy and get jobs. So together we're working together. And I am so pleased that the International Design Hub is opening today. It's great news for ourselves. It's great news for Birmingham. And I sincerely hope it's going to be so successful for Amy. Thank you for making the commitment. And I hope we're going to show what together and partnership can do. Thank you very much indeed.